boost up. Mick Davis, he's the British Bank champion. He's moved up into second place. 3.23 is running third. Jeff, uh, Jeff Roberts, known as the Wasp. And there's the Hulk, 114. And indeed, he's in second place now, Mick Davis. Always goes well. The black and white checkered roof there denoting his champ British championship uh, tag. A lot of damaged cars, as you can see, out there on that crossroad. So you've got to negotiate them as well, of course, of avoiding the traffic coming in the opposite direction. You can actually appreciate the speed of the vans because when they are coming together and hitting in that crossroad section there, it takes quite a lot to spin something like a three-ton van completely round. Quite a lot of damage, of course. They really do well and truly get bashed. Wings and doors get ripped off. But most of the drivers managed to survive. And now there's just an example. That car was being driven by Paul Needs from Enfield. As you can see, the whole of that front corner has literally gone, and he's well and truly out. Well, here we are, a 269, slipped to second place now because uh, the Hulk has moved up. 114, in fact, has taken the lead, if we can find him. At least he had a moment or two ago. He indeed is just hacking across the... Oh, and he only just made it across the crossroads, the Hulk. To, to hang on, but he came across the crossroads so fast, he in fact overshot it, slithered into the fence, and coming through on the inside is 269. I think now to probably take it back. So the Hulk is in trouble against the fence, and 269 is back there. 122 has come into the picture as well. That's the Cambridgeshire champion, Trevor Newland. Oh, the Hulk's back in. Yeah, he's got a damage the near side front wheel. How much further he's going to last, I don't know. And we've got real problems in the centre of the crossroads. We're just coming uh, just beyond halfway, a 12-lapper. And they're well and truly in there now. There's three more laps to go, I'm told. Three more now to go as we, we're into the eighth lap now. And let's pick up the basics for you. In fact, it's 1-2-2. Two, two. Trevor Newland, who is now the leader. 269 is in second place, Bob Stevens. And one... Uh, 32, I think, 152, rather, has now moved into third place, Graham Coulter. So that's the 1, 2, 3. Sitting in the centre of the crossroads there, actually the driver is still sitting in that van. The driver's door has been taken off, but the poor driver is still sitting in there with vans coming from all directions at about 40 to 50 miles per hour. Yeah, that's poor old Barry Bull. And he looks as if he perhaps can't get out. It's not a very safe place. Oh. He's just been clobbered, in fact, by 629. Uh, Graham Rout. He doesn't, look a he doesn't look a happy man there. I wish you a happy new year. Pained expression on his face there. Well, I think the wisest thing he can do is to get out of there fast. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, we'll see if we can try. Oh, he's out. Barry Bull now makes a run for it. So there we are. That's 122. He is the leader. Relatively unscathed. Which is more than going to be said for that one in front of him. Oh, hang on. Straightener up. He's still there, and he's got 269, about 10 yards behind him in second place. There they are, 122, the blue van. And just in, just in behind, in fact, lost a bit of ground, the second place man. There's one more lap to go when they come through this time. 122 it's still is Trevor Newland, the Cambridge champion. It's 122. That's it, into the final lap now. That's the man who's chasing him, 269. And there's literally 20 yards between them. 269, this is the second. Over the crossroads they come. That's the lead car, 122. 269 is in second place, just escaped. Disaster now. Can the 269 here catch that?